So now I'm going to show you how you can create a chatbot that is specialized in returning the uh, weather forecast to users. So what I'm going to do is that first of all, I'm going to be using a um, here an API that returns weather conditions, weather uh, forecasts, and this service is called openweather.org, and uh, you can register here for free. It's uh, it's for free for the basic plan, and you don't have you don't have to uh, get business plan unless you intend to create a, a commercial application. But you can use the free plan, which is gonna let you uh, make one million calls uh, per month. And what all you need to do is that you need to register. And once you register, you need to confirm your uh, the email that will be sent to your uh, to your inbox, and then click click here on my API keys and then you will be able to copy uh, your API key and use it in order to make calls and get weather forecast and of course you can click here on generate to, gener uh, to generate a new key and by the way uh, the key will be activated within 10 minutes of registration so you need to wait um, almost 10 minutes or more in order, in order for this key to be activated and in order to be able to use this key. So how can you make calls? Well, first of all, you need to click here on get started and then you need to uh, click on current weather for any uh, geolocation and then here it's gonna tell you how you can, it's gonna walk you through on how to get a uh, weather condition in a specific uh, city and by the way, it's super super simple. All you need to do is that you need to copy this you need to copy this uh, URL and then head on over to your to uh, your browser and create or uh, or open up a new tab and then you need to paste that URL and then what you need to change is that you need here you need here to pass your uh, API key which is the key here let me show you that here which is your API key you need to copy it from here and then paste it here and then here here the queue queue the query is equal to and then uh, something you need here to pass the name of the city so here um, passing here San Diego you can of course pass whatever uh, whatever uh, city you want for example here let me say uh, New York and then hit enter and as you can see it's gonna return weather uh, forecast in New York City so this is how it works and this is how you can create a, an account and get your API key and uh, how to, uh, this is how you can make calls. So this is the first step which is creating an account and getting your API key and now the, ne the next step that you need to do is that you need to use this URL in your application. But how are you going to do that? Let me show you how you can do that. Well, first of all in your index.py we need to import a module called requests not not this request but another separate uh, independent module called uh, uh, requests so I'm gonna say here import and then requests plural not singular so this is another uh, module other than the request class that comes with flask again this is requests and once you have this requests, you can make a call here in in your application. Remember, we have this get, which is the function that will be called once the user clicks on send here. Once the user clicks on send, this function will be called. So we need here, we need to make a request using this requests uh, module and then dot get in order to make a get request. And then inside that get, we need to pass the URL. The URL, which is this URL, let me copy it. And then let me paste it here. And now we will be able to make a call. And then we can store the result in a variable called raw data. Raw data, because this is going to return, this call is going to return, it's, uh, it's going to return this JSON. Let me show you that. It's going to return this JSON object. And by the way, this JSON object contains the coordinates of the location you are uh, searching for. It's 
uh, uh, weather condition. And then we have the weather, which contains the description, the main, and the description here, it says overcast uh, clouds. And also we have the temperature, temperature, and here feels like also the temperature. And then we have the uh, temperature, the minimum and the maximum, and the pressure, the humidity. So this, this service uh, gives you a lot of information about that uh, location, about the weather conditions in that location. And um, let me go back to our project. And then here, once we get this JSON object, once we get this JSON object now here, we need to convert it. We need to convert that, that raw data raw data into object uh, into uh, json so i'm going to say here raw data dot json so this is going to be the uh this is going to convert it to json so i'm going to say here i'm going to say result and then it's going to be equal to raw data dot json and finally we need to pass this result which is a json object to we need to return it to the caller so i'm going to say here return and then result return result and this this result will be given to the caller and who uh, who is the caller the caller obviously is javascript which is this get and then user message and then done and then data so this data this data is basically is this result so this this result is gonna kind of hand hand this hand this JSON object over it's gonna hand this JSON object over to JavaScript specifically to to this variable called data and then it's gonna display it here let me show you now what's gonna happen if we if we type basically if we type anything here if we type anything let me first refresh and let me here type anything it doesn't matter and then if you click on send, what's going to happen is that it's going to return object, object. As you can see, it returned the object, which is uh, the JSON object, which is this, which is this. But of course, we don't want to display here object, object. Instead, we want to display, for example, the temperature and also the description and maybe the humidity or the pressure. And it's up to you. I'm going to leave it up to you, uh, which which keys, which information you want to display to uh, or give the user. So uh, what I'm going to do is that here in the index.html we have the data and we can here say data dot and then access whichever key we need to display. So for example if you want to display the description you can simply say weather, first you need the weather and then since this is an array since this is an array, I'm going to say weather and then the first element, which is an object. And then inside that first element, we want to uh, access the description. So you can here say data and then dot weather. And then since this is an array, I'm going to say here, I'm going to say weather zero because we want to access the first element and the only element and then dot and then description because I want to get the description. Now if you save and if you refresh, if you refresh and make another call here, let me click on send, it's gonna here say overcast clouds and in the in the API it says here overcast clouds, so it worked. And maybe you want to get the temperature as well and display the temperature, you can even here say, you can either, uh, even say here plus and then data data dot and then we want to access obviously the temperature so the temperature lies in a key called inside the key called main so first we need to say here main and then temperature temp so main and then temp so in our application I'm gonna say here main and then dot temp uh, first we need to access the main main dot temp and I'm gonna also add here plus and then some space just space I'm gonna say here let me here say let me here say um, temperature so that the user knows that this is the temperature so I'm gonna say here temp and then space and then uh, here 
hyphen and then the description. Now if you save and if you refresh, guess what? And if you send something and click on send, guess what? You're gonna get the temperature as well as the description. So here it says 292.78 and then overcast clouds. So it worked and now you can get any key you want, any piece of information and display it and give it, basically uh, hand it over to the user.